So the day is finally here. It's almost time to plant the tomatoes out in the garden and I'm stoked about that because I've waited for this day a long time. They've been sitting in the four inch pots for too long, but now I have all the infrastructure done. I need to, to get them into the field up here. I'm gonna do a video showing how I transplant tomatoes, but today I wanted to take one preliminary video to highlight one specific portion of how I transplant tomatoes, one step. And this step has been the game changer for me because of these little guys, the gophers. Now I know technically this is a meerkat, but let's pretend it's a gopher because gophers were the bane of my existence when it came to tomato gardening for years up here. I would see literally four foot tall plants just get pulled under the ground. I'd come out in the morning, the four foot tall plant that was there last night wasn't there anymore, you'd see a little bit of it left. These little guys would just go under and suck the whole darn plant under. It was terribly frustrating because they would do this after the plant had been in the ground a month, two months, three months, four months sometimes, and you'd lose all that work, you'd lose all the water. It was horrible. So I started to think, how can I prevent this? And the first solution I came up with was to go to gopher baskets. And initially I was trying to be penny wise, pound foolish, and I went cheap. I had a bunch of extra mesh hardware cloth, so I decided to make my own gopher baskets. I just cut out squares that were something like 14 by 14 or 15 by 15, whatever the mesh was. I had picked up a bunch of this mesh at a garage sale, so I figured I'll use it. And then I just kind of stitched the ends together using a soft, malleable wire, whatever I had on hand. And this worked pretty well. The d downside of this is that when you open it up, it's kind of like a taco shell or like an envelope here. It doesn't have a nice round bottom. It's got this flat bottom on it. So it's kind of hard sometimes to get the pot in here, the plug from the pot in here and get it to fit. The other thing is it's not very tall and it doesn't come up above surface. One thing that you do really need to do is make sure that your fencing on the basket comes enough above surface to discourage the gophers maybe an inch or even two inches above because I have had them go over these shallow baskets, cut the tomato plant, leave it in place, and then just go back underground, which is horribly frustrating because then you know they didn't even eat it. They just killed the plant and left it and you're out that plant for nothing. So this worked well and I'll still use these for peppers and other little things. They're gonna last forever because it's galvanized. I don't wanna throw them out, but they are not optimum. But they were free or for the most part free because the metal was pretty darn cheap having gotten it at a garage sale. Then I decided, you know what, I'm gonna upgrade. And I decided to upgrade to the gopher baskets. These are made by diggers, and I showed these in the fruit tree video. There's two different sizes. This is a bigger size, like a, a five gallon size, and this is maybe a two gallon size. They're about the same price. One of these is about the same price as two of these. At Home Depot, you can get these for about $5.99 and you can get the, a two pack of these for about $5.99. For some reason, the Lowe's by me only carries these. So if you want the two pack, the smaller ones, you gotta go to Home Depot. At least that's the case in my area. Now these I like better. I wish I hadn't bought these. In fact, I'm starting to only use these for trees. I'm taking them out of tomato rotation. I'll use them if I run out of the small ones so I don't have to buy more, but they're actually too big. Cause I mean, this is a like trying to bury a five gallon bucket for a single tomato plant you're moving a lot of soil out of the way to put this into the ground so that is definitely time consuming and cumbersome I like these a lot better for tomatoes they're just a better size overall you know I don't want to do that too much but my head potentially would fit in here to give you some scale on how big this is these have protected the tomatoes really, really well. They do everything Diggers says they're gonna do. They keep the gophers out. The key is this hexagonal mesh. It's three quarter inch mesh hexagons. If you try and use chicken fence, which is usually one inch, it's too big, the gophers will get through. This is double dip galvanized. It'll last forever in the soil and I'm pulling it up and it's sitting on the surface for six months out of the year. So it's not even buried 365 days a year. It's only buried about half the year when the tomatoes are in the ground. And they've worked really well. The only key is kind of some people get confused on how do you set these things up. For a while, I didn't know, but when you set them up, just look at the instructions. You gotta make sure you bend these metal bands over to form a bottom like this. And then they even have this green paint here, which is a handy little guide. And typically what I'll do is I'll bury them up to here in terms of the soil level. 
and leave this part above surface to keep the gophers from wanting to you know go over because usually they're just going to pop their head in oh i can't get in there let me in i want the tomato plant but too bad you can't get it because i used the digger's basket so you're not going to get it and then they can go visit the neighbors or hopefully find one of the traps that i've set around the property that's the preferable thing Setting these in works really well. It goes fast. They're not too big, so you can plant tomatoes at pretty dense spacings. I'm going to probably be planting at 10 or 12 inch spacings these years. This year, using these smaller baskets, that's amenable to that. If you use these bigger baskets, you're going to have to go to wider spacings, or the baskets are just going to be touching side by side. One other thing I like here, and you can see like a little piece of strand, I use twine to come down to twist my tomatoes up and these are actually really handy to tie the, t the twine to because this is going to be firmly sitting in the ground with the weight of the soil on it and I can tie the twine around that. In terms of does this interfere with root growth, I don't really think so. I've never noticed any major issues. I've had massive tomato plants growing out of these. The three quarter inch holes are going to be big enough for any small roots to grow through. Not, not a big deal. What have I done in the off season to deal with these? Have I sterilized them or cleaned them in any way? No, they've basically just sat on the soil surface in a back corner of the property. Overall, been a game changer for me to take this little guy out of business from ruining all the tomato plants. Last year, using this basket method, I pretty much had a 100% success rate. I think I lost one or two plants to gophers for baskets that I just put in too deep, lesson learned, but I wasn't having massive catastrophic losses of like 50%, which I was having in previous years, so I would not ever do this again. I would not ever not use these going into the future. It's just too frustrating. It's wasting too much money and time. One thing to note is Diggers also sells rolls of this wire here that you can buy. It's five foot by 100 foot lengths. They may have other sizes, but that's kind of the common size where you would install that on a whole bed. And I love the idea of that, of basically kind of pulling the soil out of a bed, putting this fencing in, and then putting the soil back on. If you're ever tilling or broad forking, that's gonna take that out of a question. So cumbersome, but it is an option out there and it's actually somewhat expensive. It's about $1.75 a foot for one of those rolls. But if you have massive problems with gophers, you gotta do what you gotta do. And maybe that's a solution for somebody who's putting in more perennials, something like raspberry canes or something like that, that you're not digging up all the time. But for vegetable crops, I love these because they can provide protection when needed, as needed. And then at the end of the season, boom, they're out of here. I don't have to keep them in. But I love them. They've saved me a lot of hassle. Diggers go for baskets. Get the two packs, smaller size for tomatoes. Highly recommended. It works great. It's well worth the money and saving yourself the hassle and frustration. Thanks for watching this one. Until next time, be nice, be thankful, and do the work.